The Emperor of Japan is the monarch and the head of the imperial family of Japan. Under the Constitution of Japan, he is defined as the symbol of the Japanese state and the unity of the Japanese people, and his position is derived from the will of the people with whom resides sovereign power. Imperial household law governs the line of imperial succession. The emperor is immune from prosecution by the Supreme Court of Japan. He is also the head of the Shinto religion. In Japanese, the emperor is called Tenno, literally Emperor of God. The Japanese Shinto religion holds him to be the direct descendant of the solar goddess Amaterasu. The emperor is also the head of all national Japanese orders, decorations, medals, and awards. In English, the use of the term Mikado for the emperor was once common but is now considered obsolete. Currently, the Emperor of Japan is the only remaining head of state in the world with the monarchical title of Emperor. The Imperial House of Japan is amongst the oldest in the world. The historical origins of the emperors lie in the late Kofun period of the 3rd 6th centuries AD, but according to the traditional account of the Kojiki and Nihon Shoki. Japan was founded in 660 BC by Emperor Jimu, who was said to be a direct descendant of Amaterasu. The role of the Emperor of Japan has historically alternated between a largely ceremonial symbolic role and that of an actual imperial ruler. Since the establishment of the first shogunate in 1199, the emperors of Japan have rarely taken on a role as supreme battlefield commander, unlike many Western monarchs. Japanese emperors have nearly always been controlled by external political forces, to varying degrees. For example, between 1192 and 1867, the shoguns, or their shikan regents in Kamakura, were the de facto rulers of Japan, although they were nominally appointed by the emperor. After the Meiji Restoration in 1867, the emperor was the embodiment of all sovereign power in the realm, as enshrined in the Meiji Constitution of 1889. Since the enactment of the 1947 Constitution, the role of emperor has been relegated to that of a ceremonial head of state without even nominal political powers. Since the mid-19th century, the imperial palace has been called Kyuho, later Kokyo, and is on the former site of Edo Castle in the heart of Tokyo. Earlier, emperors resided in Kyoto for nearly 11 centuries. The emperor's birthday is a national holiday. Naruhito is the current emperor of Japan. He acceded to the chrysanthemum throne upon the abdication of his father Emperor Akihito on May 1, 2019. Unlike many constitutional monarchs, the emperor is not even the nominal chief executive. Most constitutional monarchies formally vest executive power in the monarch, but the monarch is bound by convention to act on the advice of the cabinet. In contrast, Article 65 of the Constitution of Japan explicitly vests executive power in the cabinet, of which the prime minister is the leader. The emperor is also not the commander-in-chief of the Japan Self-Defense Forces. The Japan Self-Defense Forces Act of 1954 explicitly vests this role with the prime minister. The emperor's powers are limited only to important ceremonial functions. Article 4 of the Constitution stipulates that the emperor shall perform only such acts and matters of state as are provided for in the Constitution and he shall not have powers. Related to government. It also stipulates that the advice and approval of the cabinet shall be required for all acts of the emperor in matters of state. Article 4 also states that these duties can be delegated by the emperor as provided for by law. While the emperor formally appoints the prime minister to office, Article 6 of the Constitution requires him to appoint the candidate as designated by the Diet, without giving the emperor the right to decline appointment. Article 6 of the Constitution delegates to the emperor the following ceremonial roles, appointment of the prime minister as designated by the Diet. Appointment of the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court is designated by the Cabinet. The emperor's other duties are laid down in Article 7 of the Constitution, where it is stated that the emperor, with the advice and approval of the cabinet, shall perform the following acts and matters of state on behalf of the people. In practice, all of these duties are exercised only in accordance with the binding instructions of the cabinet, promulgation of amendments of the constitution, laws, cabinet orders, and treaties, convocation of the diet, dissolution of the House of Representatives, proclamation of general election of members of the diet, attestation of the appointment and dismissal of ministers of state and other officials as provided for by law, and of full powers and credentials of ambassadors and ministers. Attestation of general and special amnesty, commutation of punishment, reprieve, and restoration of rights. Awarding of honors. Attestation of instruments of ratification and other diplomatic documents as provided for by law. Receiving foreign ambassadors and ministers. Performance of ceremonial functions. 
regular ceremonies of the emperor with a constitutional basis are the imperial investitures in the Tokyo Imperial Palace and the speech from the throne ceremony in the House of Councillors in the National Diet Building. The latter ceremony opens ordinary and extra sessions of the Diet. Ordinary sessions are opened each January and also after new elections to the House of Representatives. Extra sessions usually convene in the autumn and are open then. Although the emperor has been a symbol of continuity with the past, the degree of power exercised by the emperor has varied considerably throughout Japanese history. In the early 7th century, the emperor had begun to be called the Son of Heaven. The title of emperor was borrowed from China, being derived from Chinese characters, and was retroactively applied to the legendary Japanese rulers who reigned before the 7th-8th centuries AD. According to the traditional account of the Nihon Shoki, Japan was founded by Emperor Jimu in 660 BC. However most modern scholars agree that Jimu and the nine first emperors are mythical. Modern historians generally believe that the emperors up to Suunin are largely legendary as there is insufficient material available for verification and study of their lives. Emperor Sujin is the first emperor with a direct possibility of existence according to historians, but he is referred to as legendary due to a lack of information. The emperors from Emperor Keiko to Emperor Ingyo are considered as perhaps factual. Emperor Anko, traditionally the 20th emperor, is the earliest generally agreed upon historical ruler of all or a part of Japan. The reign of Emperor Kinmei, the 29th emperor, is the first for whom contemporary historiography is able to assign verifiable dates, however, the conventionally accepted names and dates of the early emperors were not confirmed as traditional until the reign of Emperor Kanmu, the 50th sovereign of the Yamato dynasty. Archaeological information about the earliest historical rulers of Japan may be contained in the ancient tombs known as Kofun, constructed between the early 3rd century and the early 7th century AD. However, since the Meiji period, the imperial household agency has refused to open the Kofun to the public or to archaeologists citing their desire not to disturb the spirits of the past emperors. Kofun period artifacts were also increasingly crucial in Japan as the Meiji government used them to legitimize the historical validity of the emperor's reclaimed authority. In December 2006, the Imperial Household Agency reversed its position and decided to allow researchers to enter some of the Kofun with no restrictions. Emperor Godaigo the growth of the samurai class from the 10th century gradually weakened the power of the imperial family over the realm, leading to a time of instability. Emperors are known to have come into conflict with the reigning shogun from time to time. Some instances, such as Emperor Gotoba's 1221 rebellion against the Kamakura shogunate and the 1336 Kenmu restoration under Emperor Godaigo, show the power struggle between the imperial court in Kyoto and the military governments of Japan. There have been six non-imperial families who have controlled Japanese emperors, the Soga, the Fujiwara, the Taira, the Minamoto and Kamakura Bakufu, the Ashikaga, and the Tokugawa. However, every shogun from the Minamoto, Ashikaga, and Tokugawa families had to be officially recognized by the emperors, who were still the source of sovereignty, although they could not exercise their powers independently from the shogunate. From 1192 to 1867, sovereignty of the state was exercised by the shoguns or their shikan regents, whose authority was conferred by imperial warrant. When Portuguese explorers first came into contact with the Japanese, they described Japanese conditions in analogy, likening the emperor with great symbolic authority. But little political power, to the Pope and the shogun to secular European rulers. In keeping with the analogy, they even used the term emperor in reference to the shoguns and their regents, e. g. In the case of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, whom missionaries called Emperor Taiko-sama. A Dutch embassy report used similar terminology in 1691. Empress Go Sakuramachi was the last ruling empress of Japan and reigned from 1762 to 1771. During the Sakoku period of 1603 to 1868, there was very limited trade between Japan and foreigners. The Dutch were the only Westerners who had limited access to Japan. The first arrival of Emperor Meiji to Edo. In July 1853, Commodore Perry's black ships of the U.S. Navy made their first visit to Edo Bay. Japan lacked the military and industrial power to prevent it. Unequal treaties coerced and took advantage of Japan. Consequently, Japan was forcibly open to foreign trade and the shogunate proved incapable of hindering the barbarian interlopers, Emperor Komiya began to assert himself politically. By the early 1860s, the relationship between the imperial court and the shogunate was changing radically. Disaffected domains and ronin began to rally to the call of Sonojoy. 
the domains of Satsuma and Chosu, historic enemies of the Tokugawa, used this turmoil to unite their forces and won an important military victory outside of Kyoto against Tokugawa forces. On November 9, 1867, after nearly 700 years, the shogunate was dissolved and Tokugawa Yoshinobu formally stepped down to restore Emperor Meiji to nominal full power. The Meiji Constitution was adopted on February 11, 1889. The Emperor of Japan became an active ruler with considerable political power over foreign policy and diplomacy which was shared with an elected imperial diet. The Japanese subjects gained many rights and duties. The constitution described the emperor as, the head of the empire, combining in himself the rights of sovereignty, and he exercises them, according to the provisions of the present constitution. His rights included to sanction and promulgate laws, to execute them and to exercise supreme command of the army and the navy. The liaison conference created in 1893 also made the emperor the leader of the imperial general headquarters. Emperor Showa, also known as Hirohito, was in power during World War II, controlled both the sovereign of the state and the imperial forces. The role of the emperor as head of the state Shinto religion was exploited during the war, creating an imperial cult that led to kamikaze bombers and other manifestations of fanaticism. This in turn led to the requirement in the Potsdam Declaration for the elimination for all time of the authority and influence of those who had deceived and misled the people of Japan into embarking on world conquest. In state Shinto, the emperor was believed to be an Arahitogami. Following Japan's surrender, the Allies issued the Shinto Directive separating church and state within Japan. In 1946, Hirohito was forced to proclaim the Humanity Declaration, but the declaration excludes the word Arahitogami, instead the unusual word Akitsumakami. As such, some experts doubt whether his divinity was renounced. Jean Herbert said it would be inadmissible to deny its divine origin. Hirohito was excluded from the post-war Tokyo War Crimes Tribunal. Scholars dispute the power he had and the role he played during World War II. Hirohito's reign from 1926 until his death in 1989 makes him the longest-lived and longest-reigning historical Japanese emperor the second longest reigning monarch in the world. By 1979, Emperor Showa was the only monarch in the world with the monarchical title emperor. Emperor Showa was the longest reigning historical monarch in Japanese's history and the world's longest reigning monarch until surpassed by King Pumipana Dunyade of Thailand in July 2008. According to journalist Makoto Inoue of the Nikkei, Emperor Emeritus Akihito wanted to be closer to the people, rather than be treated like a god or robot. Inoue believes that during his reign, he transformed the symbolic role of emperor into a human being. In March 2019, the Manichi reported 87% thought Akihito fulfilled his role as symbol of the state. On April 30, 2019, Emperor Akihito abdicated due to health issues. The previous time abdication occurred was Emperor Kokaku in 1817. Naruhito ascended on May 1, 2019, referred to as Kinjo Tenno. Current constitution in 1947 The post-war constitution of Japan became law when it received the emperor's assent on November 3, 1946. It provides for a parliamentary system of government and guarantees certain fundamental rights. Under its terms, the emperor of Japan is the symbol of the state and of the unity of the people and exercises a purely ceremonial role without the possession of sovereignty. It was drawn up under the Allied occupation that followed World War II and changed Japan's previous Prussian-style Meiji constitution that granted the emperor theoretically unlimited powers. The liberal constitution was inspired by several European states. Currently, it is a rigid document and the oldest unamended constitution. Map of the Empire of Japan in 1942 Current realm of Japan Historically, territorial designations are not a requirement for the position of Tenno. Rather it is the emperor's symbolic and religious power of authority. Since the Kamakura shogunate, the emperor held de jure ownership of the realm. Throughout most of medieval Japan, the shogun's legitimate authority was based on being appointed and receiving the power from the emperor even though the shogun was the de facto ruler. The emperor was considered a direct descendant of Amaterasu and of utmost importance in the Shinto religion and sentimental traditions. Thus no shogun tried to usurp the emperor, instead they tried to keep the emperor under control and away from politics. However, the emperor still had the power to control time via the Japanese Nengo which names years on calendars after emperors. Thus even if he has followers only in one province. During the Kofun period the first central government of the unified state was Yamato in the Kanai region of central Japan. The territory of Japan has changed throughout history. 
Its largest extent was the Empire of Japan. In 1938 it was 1,984,000 square kilometers. The maximum extent including the home islands and the Japanese colonial empire was 8,510,000 square kilometers in 1942. After its defeat in World War II the empire was dismantled. The contemporary territories include the Japanese archipelago in these areas. Regardless of territorial changes the emperor remains the formal head of state of Japan. During most of history, de facto power was with shoguns or prime ministers. The emperor was more like a revered embodiment of divine harmony than the head of an actual governing administration. In Japan, it was more effective for ambitious daimyo to hold actual power, as such positions were not inherently contradictory to the emperor's position. The shoguns and prime ministers derived their legitimacy from the emperor. The parliamentary government continues a similar coexistence with the emperor. The first recorded instance of the name Nihon was between 665 and 703 during the Asuka period. This was several centuries after the start of the current imperial line. The various names of Japan do not affect the status of the emperor as head of state. The emperors traditionally had an education officer. In recent times, Emperor Taisho had Count Nogi Marizuke, Emperor Showa had Marshal Admiral Marquis Togo Hayachiro and Emperor Akihito had Elizabeth Gray Vining as well as Shinzo Koizumi as their tutors. Emperors, including his family, had to get an education at Gakushu in university by the Meiji constitution. The Japanese language has two words equivalent to the English word emperor, Tenno, which refers exclusively to the emperor of Japan, and Koti, which primarily identifies non-Japanese emperors. Sumeru Makoto was also used in Old Japanese. Emperors used the term Tenno up until the Middle Ages, then, following a period of disuse, again from the 19th century. The weakened power of the emperors led to the title Tenno not being used from 1200 to 1840, during this time, living emperors were called Shujo and deceased ones were called in. Other titles that were recorded to be in use were Ko, Te, O, all meaning prince or emperor in Tenshi, or child of heaven. In English, the term Mikado, literally meaning the honorable gate, i.e. the gate of the imperial palace, which indicates the person who lives in and possesses the palace, compare sublime port. An old term for the Ottoman government, was once used, but this term is now obsolete. Traditionally, the Japanese considered it disrespectful to call any person by their given name, and more so for a person of noble rank. This convention is only slightly relaxed in the modern age and it is still inadvisable among friends to use the given name, use of the family name being the common form of address. In the case of the imperial family, it is considered extremely inappropriate to use the given name. Since Emperor Meiji, it has been customary to have one heir per emperor and to rename each emperor after his death using the name of the era over which he presided. Before Emperor Meiji, the names of the eras were changed more frequently, and the posthumous names of the emperors were chosen differently. Play media Emperor Akihito giving a New Year's address to the people in 2010 Hirohito, as usually called in English outside Japan, was never referred to by his name in Japan. He was given posthumous name Showa Tenno after his death, which is the only name that Japanese speakers currently use when referring to him. The current emperor on the throne is typically referred to as Tenno Haika Majesty the Emperor, Kinjo Haika or simply Tenno, when speaking Japanese. Emperor Akihito received the title Deho Tenno, often shortened to Yoko, upon his abdication on April 30, 2019 and is expected to be renamed Heisei Tenno after his death and will then be referred to exclusively by that name in Japanese. Originally, the ruler of Japan was known as either Slash, Slash or Ame no Shida Shiroshimisu Okami or Sumera no Mikoto. Grand King who rules all under heaven, used internally, in Japanese and Chinese sources before the 7th century. The oldest diplomatic reference to the title can be found in a diplomatic document sent from Emperor Suiko to the Suai dynasty of China in 607. In this document, Empress Suiko introduced herself to Emperor Yang of Suai as meaning Emperor of the Land Where the Sun Rises. The oldest documented use of the title appears on a wooden slat, or mokan, that was unearthed in Asukamura, Nara Prefecture in 1998 and dated back to the reign of Emperor Tenmu and Empress Hito in the 7th century. Masako Empress Consort of Japan from 2019 throughout history, Japanese emperors and noblemen appointed a spouse to the position of chief wife, rather than just keeping a harem or an assortment of female attendants. The Japanese imperial dynasty consistently practiced official polygamy until the Taisho period. Besides his empress, the emperor could take, and nearly always took, several secondary consorts of various hierarchical degrees. 
concubines were allowed also to other dynasts. After a decree by Emperor Ichijo, some emperors even had two empresses simultaneously. With the help of all this polygamy, the imperial clan could produce more offspring. Of the eight reigning empresses of Japan, none married or gave birth after ascending the throne. Some of them, being widows, had produced children before their reigns. In the succession, children of the empress were preferred over sons of secondary consorts. Thus it was significant which quarters had preferential opportunities in providing chief wives to imperial princes, I. E. Supplying future empresses. Apparently, the oldest tradition of official marriages within the imperial dynasty involved marriages between dynasty members, even between half-siblings or between uncle and niece. Such marriages were deemed to preserve better the imperial blood, or they aimed at producing children symbolic of a reconciliation between two branches of the imperial dynasty. Daughters of other families remained concubines until Emperor Shomu in what was specifically reported as the first elevation of its kind, elevated his Fujiwara consort Empress Komyo to chief wife. Japanese monarchs have been, as much as others elsewhere, dependent on making alliances with powerful chiefs and with other monarchs. Many such alliances were sealed by marriages. However, in Japan such marriages soon became incorporated as elements of tradition which controlled the marriages of later generations, though the original practical alliance had lost its real meaning. A repeated pattern saw an imperial son-in-law under the influence of his powerful non-imperial father-in-law. Beginning from the 7th and 8th centuries, emperors primarily took women of the Fujiwara clan as their highest-ranking wives, the most probable mothers of future monarchs. This was cloaked as a tradition of marriage between heirs of two kami, descendants of Amaterasu with descendants of the family kami of the Fujiwara. To produce imperial children, heirs of the nation, with two side descent from the two kami, was regarded as desirable, or at least it suited powerful Fujiwara lords, who thus received preference in the imperial marriage market. The reality behind such marriages was an alliance between an imperial prince and a Fujiwara lord, the latter with his resources supporting the prince to the throne and most often controlling the government. These arrangements established the tradition of regents, with these positions held only by a Fujiwara seke lord. Earlier, the emperors had married women from families of the government holding soga lords, and women of the imperial clan, I. E various degree cousins and often even their own half-sisters. Several imperial figures of the 5th and 6th centuries such as Prince Shataku were children of half-sibling couples. Such marriages often served as alliance or succession devices, the Soga lord ensured his domination of a prince who would be put on the throne as a puppet, or a prince ensured the combination of two imperial descents. To strengthen his own and his children's claim to the throne. Marriages were also a means to seal a reconciliation between two imperial branches, after a couple of centuries, emperors could no longer take anyone from outside such families as a primary wife, no matter what the potential expediency of such a marriage and the power or wealth offered by such a match. Only very rarely did a prince ascend the throne whose mother was not descended from the approved families. The earlier necessity and expediency had mutated into a strict tradition that did not allow for current expediency or necessity, but only prescribed the daughters of a restricted circle of families as eligible brides because they had produced eligible brides for centuries. Tradition had become more forceful than law. Fujiwara women often became empresses, while concubines came from less exalted noble families. In the last thousand years, sons of an imperial male and a Fujiwara woman have been preferred in the succession. The five Fujiwara families, Ichijo, Kujo, Nijo, Konoe, and Takatsukasa, function as the primary source of imperial brides from the 8th century to the 19th century, even more often than daughters of the imperial clan itself. Fujiwara daughters were thus the usual empresses and mothers of emperors. The Meiji-era Imperial House Law of 1889 made this restriction on brides for the emperor and crown prince explicit. A clause stipulated that daughters of Seke and daughters of the imperial clan itself were primarily acceptable brides. The law was repealed in the aftermath of World War II. In 1959 the future emperor Akihito became the first crown prince for over a thousand years to marry a consort from outside the previously eligible circle. Conjectural Images of the Imperial Regalia of Japan In Japanese mythology, the sacred treasures were bestowed on Nainagi no Mikoto, the grandson of the goddess Amaterasu, at the advent of Tensenkaren. Amaterasu sent him to pacify Japan by bringing the three celestial gifts that are used by the emperor. The account of Nainagi being sent to earth appears in the Nihon Shoki. 
the three sacred treasures were inherited by successive Japanese emperors, which are the same as or similar to the sacred treasures in mythology. These three gifts signify that the emperor is the descendant of Amaterasu. The three sacred treasures are, during the succession rite, possessing the jewel Yasukani no Magadama, the sword Kusanagi and the mirror Yada no Kagami are a testament of the legitimate serving emperor. Enthronement ceremony of Emperor Naruhito with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe The origins of the Japanese imperial dynasty are obscure, and it bases its position on the claim that it has reigned since time immemorial. There are no records of any emperor who was not said to have been a descendant of other, yet earlier emperor. There is suspicion that Emperor Keitai may have been an unrelated outsider, though the sources state that he was a male line descendant of Emperor Ojin. However, his descendants, including his successors, were according to records descended from at least one and probably several imperial princesses of the older lineage. Millennia ago, the Japanese imperial family developed its own peculiar system of hereditary succession. It has been non-primogenitural, more or less agnetic, based mostly on rotation. Today, Japan uses strict agnetic primogeniture, which was adopted from Prussia, by which Japan was greatly influenced in the 1870s. The controlling principles and their interaction were apparently very complex and sophisticated, leading to even idiosyncratic outcomes. Some chief principles apparent in the succession have been, historically, the succession to the chrysanthemum throne has always passed to descendants in male line from the imperial lineage. Generally, they have been males, though over the reign of 100 monarchs there have been nine women as emperor on 11 occasions. Over a thousand years ago, a tradition started that an emperor should ascend relatively young. A dynast who had passed his toddler years was regarded suitable and old enough. Reaching the age of legal majority was not a requirement. Thus, a multitude of Japanese emperors have ascended as children, as young as six or eight years old. The high priestly duties were deemed possible for a walking child. A reign of around 10 years was regarded as sufficient service. Being a child was apparently a fine property, to better endure tedious duties and to tolerate subjugation to political power brokers, as well as sometimes to cloak the truly powerful members of the imperial dynasty. Almost all Japanese empresses and dozens of emperors abdicated and lived the rest of their lives in pampered retirement, wielding influence behind the scenes. Several emperors abdicated to their entitled retirement while still in their teens. These traditions show in Japanese folklore, theater, literature and other forms of culture, where the emperor is usually described or depicted as an adolescent. Before the Meiji Restoration, Japan had 11 reigns of reigning empresses, all of them daughters of the male line of the imperial house. None ascended purely as a wife or as a widow of an emperor. Imperial daughters and granddaughters, however, usually ascended the throne as a sort of a stopgap measure, if a suitable male was not available or some imperial branches were in rivalry so that a compromise was needed. Over half of Japanese empresses and many emperors abdicated once a suitable male descendant was considered to be old enough to rule. Four empresses, Empress Suiko, Empress Kogyoku, and Empress Hito, as well as the legendary Empress Jingu, were widows of deceased emperors and princesses of the blood imperial in their own right. One, Empress Genmei, was the widow of a crown prince and a princess of the blood imperial. The other four, Empress Gensho, Empress Koken, Empress Meisho, and Empress Go Sakuramachi, were unwed daughters of previous emperors. None of these empresses married or gave birth after ascending the throne. Article 2 of the Meiji Constitution stated, The imperial throne shall be succeeded to by imperial male descendants, according to the provisions of The Imperial House Law the 1889 Imperial Household Law fixed the succession on male descendants of the imperial line, and specifically excluded female descendants from the succession. In the event of a complete failure of the main line, the throne would pass to the nearest collateral branch, again in the male line. If the empress did not give birth to an heir, the emperor could take a concubine, and the son he had by that concubine would be recognized as heir to the throne. This law, which was promulgated on the same day as the Meiji Constitution, enjoyed co-equal status with that constitution. Article 2 of the Constitution of Japan, promulgated in 1947 by influence of the U.S. Occupation Administration, provides that the imperial throne shall be dynastic and succeeded to in accordance with the imperial. Household Law Passed by the Diet The Imperial Household Law of 1947, enacted by the 92nd and last session of the Imperial Diet, retained the exclusion on female dynasts found in the 1889 law. 
the government of Prime Minister Yoshida Shigeru hastily cobbled together the legislation to bring the imperial household in compliance with the American written constitution of Japan that went into effect in May 1947. In an effort to control the size of the imperial family, the law stipulates that only legitimate male descendants in the male line can be dynasts, that imperial princesses lose their status as imperial family members if they marry outside the imperial family, and that the emperor and other members of the imperial family may not adopt children. It also prevented branches, other than the branch descending from Taisho, from being imperial princes any longer. Succession is now regulated by laws passed by the National Diet. The current law excludes women from the succession. A change to this law had been considered until Princess Kiko gave birth to Prince Hisahito. Until the birth of Hisahito, son of Prince Akishino, on September 6, 2006, there was a potential succession problem, since Prince Akishino was the only male child to be born into the imperial family since 1965. Following the birth of Princess Aiko, there was public debate about amending the current imperial household law to allow women to succeed to the throne. In January 2005, Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi appointed a special panel composed of judges, university professors, and civil servants to study changes to the imperial household law and to make recommendations to the government. The panel dealing with the succession issue recommended on October 25, 2005, amending the law to allow females of the male line of imperial descent to ascend the Japanese throne. On January 20, 2006, Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi devoted part of his annual keynote speech to the controversy, pledging to submit a bill allowing women to ascend the throne to ensure that the succession continues in the future in a stable manner. Shortly after the announcement that Princess Kiko was pregnant with her third child, Koizumi suspended such plans. Her son, Prince Hisahito, is the third in line to the throne under the current law of succession. On January 3, 2007, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe announced that he would drop the proposal to alter the imperial household law. Another proposed plan is to allow unmarried men from the abolished collateral branches of the imperial family to rejoin through adoption or marriage. This would be an emergency measure to ensure stable succession. It does not revise the imperial household law. This does not restore the royalty of the 11 collateral branches of the imperial house that were abolished in October 1947. Crown Prince Akishino was formally declared first in line to the chrysanthemum throne on November 8, 2020. Entrance of the Musashi Imperial Graveyard in Hachioji, Tokyo during the Kofun period, so-called archaic funerals were held for the dead emperors. But only the funerary rites from the end of the period, which the chronicles describe in more detail, are known. They were centered around the rite of the Mogari, a provisional depository between death and permanent burial. Empress Hito was the first Japanese imperial personage to be cremated. After that, with a few exceptions, all emperors were cremated up to the Edo period. For the next 350 years, in-ground burial became the favored funeral custom. Until 1912, the emperors were usually buried in Kyoto. From Emperor Taisho onward, the emperors had been buried at the Musashi Imperial Graveyard in Tokyo. In 2013, the Imperial Household Agency announced that Emperor Akihito and Empress Michiko would be cremated after they die. Tokyo Imperial Palace Until the end of World War II, the Japanese monarchy was thought to be among the wealthiest in the world. Before 1911 no distinction was made between the Imperial Crown Estates and the Emperor's personal properties, which were considerable. The Imperial Property Law, which came into effect in January 1911, established two categories of Imperial Properties, the hereditary or crown estates and the personal properties of the imperial family. The imperial household minister was given the responsibility for observing any judicial proceedings concerning imperial holdings. Under the terms of the law, imperial properties were only taxable in cases where no conflict with the imperial house law existed, however, crown estates could only be used for public or imperially sanctioned undertakings. Personal properties of certain members of the imperial family, in addition to properties held for imperial family members who were minors, were exempted from taxation. Those family members included the Empress Dowager, the Empress, the Crown Prince and Crown Princess, the Imperial Grandson and then the Consort of the Imperial Grandson. As a result of the poor economic conditions in Japan, 289,259. 25 acres of Crown lands were either sold or transferred to government and private sector interests in 1921. In 1930, the Nagoya Detached Palace was donated to the city of Nagoya, with six other imperial villas being either sold or donated at the same time. 
In 1939, Nijo Castle, the former Kyoto residence of the Tokugawa shoguns, and an imperial palace since the Meiji Restoration, was likewise donated to the city of Kyoto. At the end of 1935, according to official government figures, the imperial court owned roughly 3,111,965 acres of landed estates, the bulk of which were the emperor's private lands. With the total acreage of the crown estates amounting to some 512,161 acres, those landholdings comprised palace complexes, forest and farm lands and other residential and commercial properties. The total value of the imperial properties was then estimated at 650 million yen, or roughly 195 million US dollars at prevailing exchange rates. This was in addition to the emperor's personal fortune, which amounted to hundreds of millions of yen and included numerous family heirlooms and furnishings. Purebred livestock and investments in major Japanese firms, such as the Bank of Japan, other major Japanese banks, the Imperial Hotel and Nippon Yusin. Following Japan's defeat in the Second World War, all of the collateral branches of the imperial family were abolished under the Allied occupation of the country and the subsequent constitutional reforms, forcing those families to sell their assets to private or government owners. Staff numbers in the imperial households were slashed from a peak of roughly 6,000 to about 1,000. The imperial estates and the emperor's personal fortune were transferred to either state or private ownership, accepting 6,810 acres of land holdings. Since the 1947 constitutional reforms, the imperial family has been supported by an official civil list sanctioned by the Japanese government. The largest imperial divestments were the former imperial Kiso and Amagi forest lands in Gifu and Shizuoka prefectures, grazing lands for livestock in Hokkaido and a stock farm in the Chiba region all of which were transferred to the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. Imperial property holdings have been further reduced since 1947 after several handovers to the government. Today, the primary imperial properties include the two imperial palaces at Tokyo and Kyoto, several imperial villas and a number of imperial farms and game preserves. As of 2017, Akihito has an estimated net worth of 40 million US dollars. The wealth and expenditures of the emperor and the imperial family have remained a subject of speculation and were largely withheld from the public until 2003. When Mori Yohei, a former royal correspondent for the Manichi Shimbun, obtained access to 200 documents through a recently passed public information law. Mori's findings, which he published in a book, revealed details of the imperial family's 240 million US dollar civil list. Among other details, the book revealed the imperial family employed a staff of over 1,000 people. The total cost of events related to the enthronement of Emperor Naruhito was approximately 16. 6 billion yen in 2019. This is 30% higher than Emperor Emeritus Akihito's accession. Informational Notes Citations Bibliography. Thanks for watching.